Okay, uh, part three of Interval Three Store. Uh, so, kind of go through these offices because there's some ammo, and uh, I believe there's a psychic. Yeah, there's a psychic link you can get for some extra points. Uh, eventually, you know, I kind of get to. Uh, it's kind of outside of the store. It's it's basically like the the garden shop area of uh, this store, um, and uh, it's actually in that area that uh, there's a psychic link you can do. And for me, when I hit that point, um, I ranked up to level fourteen. And with that, I got a, a health increase, um, which actually ends up coming very ha coming in very handy for the next area because uh, this is when you get introduced to uh, more of these deranged humans, but now they're wearing explosives. Uh, which is handy because if they're within like a group of guys and you shoot one of them, it blows all of them up. Um, yeah, kind of pay attention there because the first time I played, I didn't know they were there and they ran up on me and they didn't kill me, but they damaged me pretty bad. And hey, check it out, Alma. Uh, and then the second time. Um, I was like, oh shit. So, yeah. So that comes in handy. And then any guys left, you can just melee them. Because I'm pretty sure them just falling to the ground will automatically kill them. Uh, but, um, if you don't shoot those guys and they get close enough they actually will like jump at you and explode um, yeah see like right there that guy kind of blocked my melee shot on him um, that will occasionally happen for the guys that have like knives and uh, crowbars and probably even lead pipes I'm not completely sure all the weapons that they will have with them uh, for this area, just kind of walk over that ladder enough and then move back because it will trigger the spawn for the the next three um, or the next four uh, explosive guys. And then, yeah. Uh, and I think after that, I don't believe there's any more guys for right now. Um, like, I'm kind of walking around here because I'm trying to find where the armor doll, doll is. But, um, it's not until towards the end of the level. Um... And it's actually when I find it, I actually get the achievement for finding all the dolls. Because I believe... I think this interval was the only one that I hadn't found the doll. So... Um, even though I got the achievement, I will attempt to still show where all the others are. Uh, yeah, now in this area, this area is just kind of... You just have to run in a circle. Um... Because these guys will just kind of spawn from all areas here with some of the explosive guys. Um, like at this point, like I had to go into slow mo because they were they were rushing me while I was reloading, and I was I was gonna be in a very bad spot. And don't don't throw a grenade like I did. I amazingly didn't die. Uh, I thank the health increase for that. 
because I I was literally if one of them had hit me, I probably would have been dead. Uh, so you basically just run around here in a circle. Uh, you basically um, wait all the way at the far end of where I'm looking where that fence is. Uh, you're just waiting for, I believe, two of those explosive guys to be at the fence on the other side. And you just have to shoot them to uh, blow up the fence so you can move into the next section. Um, you pretty much know they'll be there once uh, you don't really see any more guys chasing after you. So. And then you get another one of Alma's contractions and shit comes flying down. Uh, and then you get this little this weird little psychic I don't even know what the fuck this is. Um, these are kind of kind of like what would happen during the first game, where you come in these these areas and you would get transported into these weird little hallways to walk down. And uh, but pretty much after that, um, it's not much else to do here. You just kind of going through a meat locker and uh, I'll meet back up with you in part four.